So today, I'm going to show you how to graph linear relationships from an equation. Now, the general formula for a linear relationship is y equals mx plus b, where m is just some number, but that number is your slope. All right, and your slope can be calculated by thinking of rise over run. In other words, the number on top tells you how much up you have to go between points, and the number on the bottom, the run, tells you how much to the right you go between points. Okay? Now, the number on the end, this b, is the y-intercept. What that tells you is, where does your graph cross the y-axis? Okay? But every equation is going to have a y and the x in there. It's just these numbers, the slope and the y-intercept, that are going to be different for each one. And that's going, to tell us, that's going to tell us what our graph looks like. All right, so let's do an example here. y equals 2 thirds x minus 4. Now notice, it's in that format, y equals something x plus something, where that first number next to x, that 2 thirds, that's our slope. Okay? The number at the end, that plus b is our y-intercept. In this case, it says minus 4. So that minus 4 is our y-intercept. So what that tells us is our, our graph here is going to cross the y-axis at negative 4. So I'm going to plot a point there. I know that point's going to be on our line. Now, I'm going to use this slope, 2 thirds, to graph the rest of the line because my rise and my run tell me what the line looks like. My rise is 2 and my run is 3. So from here, I can go up 2 and write 3, and that's another point on my line. And then I could just repeat this over and over again. Up two, right three. Up two, right three. Up two, right three. I could continue that forever because my line will actually go on that way forever. Now I should continue the line the other way. And, it, and to do that, we just repeat the pattern backwards. So I just go down two and backwards three. Down two and backwards three. And you can kind of see the pattern based on looking at the front end of this line. But there is my line. And I do put arrows on the end because the line goes on forever in both directions. And that's what those arrows represent. OK, let's do another example. y equals negative 4 fifths x plus 3. OK, again, that number added on the end is my y-intercept. So plus 3, that tells us our line is going to cross the y-axis at positive 3. And my slope is negative 4 fifths. So what that tells me is my rise is negative 4, so it's going to go down 4. And my run is 5, that means go to the right 5 between every pair of points. So from here, I'm going to go down 4, right 5, plot a point. Down 4, right 5, plot a point. So I would continue it in that direction. So it looks something like that. And I should continue it the other way also. So I'll go up 4 and back 5. And there's the rest of my line that way. And that's the graph of that equation. All right. Let's do two more. y equals 3x plus 2. Again, the number added at the end, that 2, positive 2, that's my y-intercept. So on the y-axis, here's positive 2. Now my slope is 3, but we're used to having a fraction. So I'm going to change this whole number into a fraction. And you can change any whole number into a fraction by putting it over 1. But that makes it a lot easier to graph. So from there, I can go up 3, write 1, plot a point. Up 3, write 1, plot a point, And continue forever in that direction. So that's what my graph would look like. And I should do the other half. So I'll go back three, down, uh, down three, back one, down three, back one, down three, back one. And there's the other half of my line. And there's my graph. All right, last one, y equals negative 2x minus 1. Again, look for that y-intercept. It's the number on the end that doesn't have the x next to it. Negative 1, right there. Now, again, my slope's a whole number. Let's put it over 1, so it'll be a fraction, so I know the rise and the run. Here we go, negative 2 over 1. So that means from here I go down 2, right 1. Down 2, right 1. Down 2, 
right one. And look, I know what my line looks like. And again, I always continue it the other way too. Up to back one, up to back one, up to back one. And you can kind of see what this line's gonna look like. There it is. Okay, so when you're graphing these, pay careful attention to whether the slope's positive or negative because it will change whether it's going up and to the right or down and to the right. Okay, and then also remember the y-intercept is the number that doesn't have the x next to it. Now in these examples, that that y-intercept is always on the far end of the equation, but just know that it doesn't have to be. It could be mixed up. It could they could put the y-intercept before the slope. And you'll know it's the y-intercept because it's the one number that doesn't have the x next to it. All right. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that like button. Also subscribe because it really helps us out. But with that being said, good luck on your math and I will see you next time.